Today on GE, we'll be making farfalle with shrimp and spinach. If you like quick, easy, and delicious, this recipe is for you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our 14th episode of GE. I'm so excited to have you as usual. Every week, we get more and more people involved, and I really appreciate that. Thank you. Don't forget to like. If you want to be a sponsor, uh, you can private message me. And um, we're going to be putting up something on our website very soon if you'd like to be uh, get a credit as a producer or a shout out on our show. Thank you everyone for watching last week's episode. It was uh, spaghetti with sausage and peppers uh, with marinara sauce and we also made a sausage and peppers hero. There will be a link in the description below uh, to that video and also to that recipe. There will also be a link to this recipe so you can print it out as well. Today we're going to be making a great dish. It's farfalle pasta uh, with shrimp and spinach. If you'd like to print out any of our recipes, go to yaeat.tv and click on the recipe tab. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Every time we do a new episode, we do post it on our website. Um, also, we have a, uh, a Facebook page. Uh, just search out GE. That's our Facebook page. It's YA apostrophe EAT. And if you, when you do that, you also see our, uh, our group as well. So we're going to make some farfalle pasta with shrimp and spinach. Are you ready? Here we go. To make this recipe, you're going to need one and a half pounds of shrimp, one pound bag of fresh spinach, four garlic cloves, extra virgin olive oil, three cups of chicken stock, four ounces of Pecorino Romano cheese, one pound of farfalle pasta, salt and pepper to taste. Now with this dish, I like to have sliced garlic, so I'm not going to smash it. All right, so we're going to put our water on. Extra virgin olive oil to the pan. Just a butterfly. You just want to go almost all the way, obviously, but not all the way. Although sometimes you can even go all the way. It kind of gives you a different kind of look in the dish when you split it all the way, like that. Do a couple like that, see how they come out. Now, I did clean these shrimp beforehand, and I left the tails on. I'm going to put the shrimp in a bag and just throw a little flour in there. I forgot to list with the ingredients, but you do need a tablespoon of all-purpose flour. After giving the shrimp a good shake, let's add them to the pan. The shrimp will cook really quick, two to three minutes on high heat. You don't have to cook them all the way. You can see that. They're not completely cooked. That's how we want them. I'm going to take them out now. You only want to cook the shrimp about 75%. Now we're going to saute our garlic. Most vegetables are about 80% water, and you will see how much the spinach will break down by volume. So just as the garlic is lightly browning, we'll add the, the, um, the spinach. And the garlic will continue to cook for a couple of seconds until the moisture starts to come out of the spinach and then it'll stop browning. Take it out of the folly. A little season of salt and pepper. Of course, we're going to be cooking our farfalle al dente. And see how much the brick, how, how, how far down the spinach comes, breaks down, right? So that's it. We're going to add the shrimp back in. We're going to add the chicken stock. Now, the amount of stock that you like it, that you add, it's up to you and how much sauce you like. I always like a lot of sauce, so I got three cups of stock here. I don't, I'm not going to use it all, probably. Now remember, we only cooked our shrimp 75%, and it will continue to cook now. And once it cooks the rest of the way, about two minutes simmer with the chicken stock, you're done. It's going to look very nice. Let's shut this off. We're going to focus on the pasta and clean up. Now 
So this is what the shrimp looks like when I butterfly it all the way through. It looks like a, like a bird almost like, you know, so it looks pretty cool. So, but for presentation purposes, You want to make sure that your flame is off and we added two rounded tablespoons of Pecorino Romano cheese. Yummy. Mix in the cheese and you're done. Let's put this on the plate. Farfalle with shrimp and spinach. Gee, you, you want to eat? Make this recipe. It's delicious. Some good stuff right there. Not a lot to it. You don't have to do too much. Very simple ingredients. They taste great on their own. You don't have to add a million things to this dish. Ah, so good. I like to drink wine more than I used to. Anyway, I'm drinking more. It's good for you, Bob. Get your personalized doodle from Espo's Doodles. He's my nephew. Just Google Espo's Doodles or Instagram at Espo's Doodles. Before you start your remodeling project in your northern New Jersey home, make sure you call Steve at CarpentryInnovationsNJ.com for your free estimate. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. It's super... Okay. Today we're going to be make so today we're going to be making so today we'll be making farfalle pasta with shrimp and spinach. If you if you while you're on our while you're on sheep.tv, click on the YouTube scroll. Please click. So, are you ready to make? So we're going to make that. Uh, so we're, so we're going to make some farfalle pasta with shrimp and spinach. Are you ready? Here we go.